Anyway, we have now reached line 9 in Python, and so far there has been no error. On line 9, we are comparing m, which remember refers to the string object 0, with 0. So the question we have to ask is, can we do this comparison? Is this comparison going to result in true or false or perhaps an error? Well, the object on the left is the string 0, so 0 in quotes. The object on the right has no quotes, so that's the integer 0. So the question is, is the string 0 the same in value as the integer 0? And the answer is no, you cannot compare a string with an integer in general. Remember, a string could have any combination of letters including digits. So Python does not allow you to compare the value of a string and the value of an integer. And by the way, this is not just because these are objects of different types. You should try it out yourself. Python will allow you to compare the floating point object 0.0, .0 once again, no quotes, with the integer 0. And it will tell you that those two objects, even though they're of different types, they have the same value. But here, since this is a string and an integer, they do not have the same value. So this if condition is going to be false. So what is our code going to do? It's going to skip past the body of the if and it's going to come to line 11. Let's click on next and confirm that. At this point, we're ready for this function to return. All it has to do to return is to evaluate this expression n remainder m equals 0. So how does it do that? Well, it has to take n remainder m and then check if that object is equal in value to 0. But n is the string 10 and m is the string 0. So is it legal for Python to take remainder between two strings? Let's click on next and find out. And you see, we get these red error bars. And down here, we have got a type error. It's telling us that this statement is illegal. Now, it's a very confusing statement because it's talking about something called string formatting. This is confusing because what string formatting are we trying to do here? It turns out that when you're dealing with strings, the percent operator is used for formatting. Now, I haven't talked about it because when we want to format strings in this course, we will prefer to use the f string format. It's simpler in my view. But what Python thinks we're trying to do is take these two strings and do some formatting and it says, I don't understand what you mean by then doing the formatting and comparing with zero. This seems illegal, so it's given us a type error. The root cause of the error on line 11 is actually just on line 13. But just because it's a close line away, it's actually very far away in terms of when we did that, that code. Remember, we did lines 13 and 14 a long time ago. We have to unwind all the way back here. That's when we did lines uh, 13 and 14. That is the root cause of the error that we observed much later on. So the code stopped working on line 11 much after we made the error. And these kinds of problems happen all the time in programming. This is why debugging is difficult. But in any case, we know that the problem here is happening because the strings that we created as a result of the input function were not converted into ints. So let's edit this code and fix this problem.